my question to each and every one of you today is what are your ropes? What are the invisible ropes that are holding you stuck and keeping you from progressing forward and going to the life of your dreams? And I urge you to challenge those and get rid of them and move on. And you can do that in a number of different ways. One of the great ways is with affirmations. You can override any limiting belief. I'm every, every day and every way I'm getting healthier and healthier is better than, oh man, I better slow down, I'm not getting any younger. Create some, some empowering affirmations and get rid of the ones that don't empower you. And then get an image of the life that you want to have. Whatever it is that you want to be, do, have in your life, you can attract it. Law of Attraction is real. Whether you saw the movie The Secret or not, the Law of Attraction is a real law of the universe. We attract what we think about. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Earl Nightingale said, we become what we think about all day long and said that we move in the direction of our currently dominant thoughts. Flip Wilson, if you remember Flip, said, what you see is what you get. Same principle. Whatever you hold in your thoughts, whatever you envision, whatever you speak about and talk about, you bring about it. That's very important, by the way. Watch what you talk about, because you bring it about. You have that power. So you get a sense of what you want. You want to be an author? You want to see a book with your name on it? Wow, make a dummy cover. Put your name on it. Start working on the book. I'm an Irish kid from Staten Island that they try to throw out of high school. I've got six books in 22 countries. Don't tell me I can't do this stuff, okay? This is not a theory with me. I live this day and night. This is real. You decide what you want to do, and you go and do it. You learn along the way. Napoleon Hill also said high levels of success require specialized knowledge. And in the next sentence, he said, but the knowledge doesn't have to come from you. We get stuck because we think we have to know everything. No, you have to know what you want. The Bible says ask and you'll receive. It doesn't say whine, moan, complain. It says ask. It doesn't say figure it out either. What do you want? You want to travel the world? You want to be sitting outside a cafe in Capri, Italy, watching boats sail through the Blue Grotto with a little cup of espresso on the table in front of you? Spend some time seeing that. Get an image of that happening. Start to see that taking place in your life. Whatever it is that you want to be, do, and have, spend a little time each day envisioning it. Go there in your mind. Athletes do this all the time. Gina was talking about golf before. Jack Nicholas said calls them his mind movies. He said he makes a movie of where I want the ball to go, and then I play back my movie and hit the ball. That's how he does what he does. Every major athlete knows this. He's known it for years. Dr. Dennis Whitley learned it in the 80s and taught it to the Olympic athletes. 